really determined to kill us. Like, is she still off? He's definitely not. I'll take your heart. If I can, I can't. Nope. Where's this phone? Surely there's one outside somewhere. Where are you? Tommy, I have to go all the way back to the um, subway. No, oh, there's one there. Uh, find my way. I was just laughing, but like six bullets into him. Ah, oh, you joking? collectible. I like the way this game's like cell shaded, it looks good. Like Borderlands and it like. Really can't use this phone. I found the subway. Is it not that way? Over here, wanna. Down this way, on the right. I wonder if I can use this telephone. No. Found a subway anyway. Great. So Jackie likes the smell of piss and he likes likes living in toilets apparently. I right, don't speak to me now. Good to see you, Jackie. How you doing? Just talk to you, mate. Yeah, You're a bit rude good. before. So what's the news with Polly? And how's the wife? Yeah, so so, Jackie. But it ain't the wife I'm worried about. It's Polly. That little Doberman don't see anything but money. Words out, Jackie. He's paying a lot of cash to the guys who bring you down. Some of the younger boys, they get scared to take a dump without his permission. Spineless little turds. I wouldn't come around here for a while if I was you. Polly put a hit on me. Already. Yeah, already. You just be careful around here, son. And, and try not to whack anyone. Old Butch has got his hands full cleaning up the last mess. Some asshole hit the head chef at the Olive Grove by mistake. Fucking bloodbath, isn't it? Thanks for the advice, Mr. Barucci. But I can take care of myself. There's a phone. Bring that collectible first, eh? What the fuck do you want? I don't have your fucking money, you bitch. You mind repeating that? No thanks. Okay. Bye bye then. Hello, Jackie. I heard about what happened tonight. I don't need to point out to you this is a bad situation. You better come and see me. Where are you? Heard through the grapevine you were at the Olive Grove. Yeah. And let me tell you something. It's a good thing your Aunt Sarah's out of town. The Olive Grove is right next to her apartment, and this has been one messy afternoon. Now you get yourself over here, but tread lightly. I've got my share of shit for tonight, okay? Hey, leave the goons to me. Now listen, Butch. Things are happening. 
I'm about to get my ass handed to me by a very nasty scumbag whose name rhymes with Paulie Franchetti. Okay, now I want you to notice. I do this only for you because of who your father was and because you've always shown respect to your family. Now listen, you go through Doyer's Alley across from Jenny's apartment. I got my car parked there. You make sure no one sees you. I'll leave the back door entrance to the kitchen open. You got that? So we're getting help from Butcher. Hi, right, Butcher. He's a cool guy. Whoa, what's that? Scary shit. Get away from that as quick as I can. So we had nothing to say in that little cutscene. Not on whatsoever. Like he said it was over from Jenny's, didn't he? So where was that? Is this not his car? I'm pretty sure this is the alley that Jenny's is on. Let's have a look down here. Must be around here somewhere. Where are you? <clears throat> Is that Droyer or something like that? Doyers? Not really. Gotta go right round. And I'm betting there's loads of these mafia people over here. Yep. So as I say, that a big car comes. There's plenty over there as well, come on. Invincible. Well, he's getting off the car as well. He's just got to go. Where was that coming from? That's where I've got to go, that alleyway over there. Oh sure, that was a headshot, come on. That definitely was. Basically I just went the long way around. No harm in that though, no harm in that. Wow, that was bad shooting. Left one does not get a look in with the hat. Have to go through this way or something. Nope. If there's one untouchable in this business, it's Butcher Joyce. You put out a hit on some guy, Butcher flushes his body. No one's ever the wiser. Butcher knows everyone's business, but what keeps him alive is that he never, ever chooses a side. Yeah, too bad there's a war coming. Oh, I heard you coming from a block away, Jackie. Those expensive Italian shoes make you sound like a fucking bull elephant. Every cop for a half a mile around probably knows you're here. Fucking cops all I need now, huh? Grab that body, would you? Oh. Always. Oh, you gotta call me in when I'm eating dinner. Can't you people make your hits at a reasonable time of the day, huh? Yeah. You know, they told me there was only one body to dispose of. Supposed to be one of those uh, dealers from the alley. So what happens? 
dead. Some moron puts a bullet right between Jeff Helmet's eyes. Huh? Oh. <sighs> Drop it in the trunk. I'll take care of it. All right. Good enough. What happened to you tonight? Listen, Butch, you know any more about why Polly wants me dead? You're the best contract guy they have. You're young and ambitious. They don't like that. Mm -mm. Nah. Now you listen to me, Jackie. Your only option is to take down Paulie before he takes you down. Put a big enough dent in his business, the Chicago people will see to it he has an accident. I would never be one to suggest how you do this. If you ask me, you need to pay a visit to Dutch Oven Harry. Put some holes in him. Hmm? Dutch Oven Harry? No, never heard of him. <sighs> Who's Dutch Oven Harry? I'll tell you. Harry is Paulie's biggest dealer of illicit medicine. He works out of a building in Hunter's Point. Now, if I were the kind of man to be involved in things like this, I take down Harry. I'd pull all of his merchandise out of the building. But I'm not, see? You don't want to come walking up to their front door. So go through that rundown billiards club at Whitefish Alley. There's a back door leading to Hunter's Point from there. Hmm? Ah, fuck. Cops. This is why I don't get involved. Get back inside. Alright, I think that's going to be all for now, but definitely we'll uh, make some more videos soon, so see ya.